Our next act is in his 10th year at the Amish Country Theater. He's a man who's seen it all and understood very little of it. He wears his heart on his sleeve and spaghetti sauce on his pants. He needs no introduction, but insists on having one. Please welcome to the stage, the one, the only, Leonard! I love you guys. Thanks for coming out tonight. You guys are so much fun. You know what? Let me move this so y'all can see me. How are your New Year's resolutions going by now? We are two and a half months into a new year. Most of us said, here's what I'm going to accomplish in the new year. How are we doing with those? I, I'm, I, hey, you, I, I made a New Year's resolution that I would lose 30 pounds this year. I am well on my way, only 38 to go. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm killing it right now. It ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard. Like, it is hard. Did, it, did, you, did anybody like me put on extra weight during the shutdown? I mean, that, yeah, let's just confess right now. How many of you say, yes, you're not the only one, Leonard. I put on a few extra pounds. Thank you. How many are sitting next to somebody that should have raised their hand and didn't? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> my kids took notice. You know what they got me for Christmas? A Fitbit. You know what that is? I put it on and dialed 911 right away. The big thing for me is, is cutting out the sweets. That's hard for me to do. My favorite thing is every morning you go to the bakery down the road and get a hot, fresh donut that melts in your mouth. Y'all, there's a bakery right down here. Every morning they got these hot, fresh donuts. They just, mmm. And so, like, like, I got in the habit of going there every day. My car just automatically drive in there, you know what I mean? Next thing I know, I got a donut in my mouth. I don't even know how it happens. But I said, well, I got to do something about that. So I'm happy to say, it's been three weeks. I made it three full weeks without stopping at the bakery for a donut. Thank you very much. Yes. Three weeks until today. Well, here, no, here's, let me, here's what happened. I was um, getting ready to drive by the bakery. And there's no way to avoid it. I got to go buy it. And man, them donuts was calling my name this morning. It's been three weeks, you know what I mean? I'm just going, man, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because the willpower just wasn't as powerful today. And so I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm dying. I think I need a donut. So you know what I did? I started praying. That's what I know how to do. I'm like, Lord, you know I'm fixing to drive by that bakery. And you know how bad I'd like to have one of them hot, fresh donuts. Lord, I'm going to need your help because I'm not feeling it today. Like I can do it. And then this thought hit me. What if the Lord wants to reward me for being good for three weeks <laughs> by letting me have a hot, fresh donut? So I said, okay, Lord, if that's what your plan is, how about this? How about, Lord, if, if when I drive by the bakery, if that very front parking place is wide open, the one right in front of the door, if that very front parking place is open, then I will take that as a sign from you that you want me to have one of them hot, fresh donuts. And ladies and gentlemen, wouldn't you know it, my fifth time around the block, <laughs> that parking place was wide open. Isn't God good, y'all? <laughs> All right, because this is my favorite thing to do. We got to do this fast. I love coming to the audience and getting to know people. So I'm going to jump down here real quick. We're going to find out some of the fun people that are here. This is the part of the show where people stop making eye contact with me. <laughs> we'll see how. It, look at this guy here. He looked right at me. What's your name, sir? Curtis. Curtis, it's nice to meet you. Where are you from? Gallipolis. Gallipolis, down by the river. Gallipolis, Ohio. Anybody ever heard of Gallipolis? That's it. Are you, now, see, see how good I am at geography? Yeah. Curtis, are you good at geography? 
somewhat. I'll give you an easy geography question. You can impress everybody here tonight, Curtis. Do you know where French fries were first made? No. In Greece. <laughs> you know why? Because there was another country over there that was Hungary. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that one. Who are you here with? Heather. Who? Heather. Heather. Hi. Is your fiance? Yes. Yes, you're going to get married? One day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's usually just one day, yeah. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Now, how long have you known him? Four years. Four years. Come on, man, let's go. <laughs> but you, I could marry you right here. Would you, you want to? That's pressure. You guys are good. She is just like, dear Lord, who bought the front row tickets? You guys are fun. Thanks for coming out. Hi, what's your name? Bernie. Bernie, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Love Pittsburgh. Hate the Steelers. All right. Oh, <laughs> this is Brown's country, and, and the Steelers actually own it here. <laughs> so that's awesome. Who are you here with? My husband, Bob. Hi, Bob. How, How you long have you been married to Bernie? Uh, oh my see. goodness. <laughs> okay, 39. Is he right? He's right. It'll okay. be 40 in July. Is she right? Yep. What's the secret to staying married for 40 years? She obeys me. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he said she obeys me. <laughs> Now, that might have worked in the 50s. <laughs> right now, you're getting in trouble. And not with Bernie, but with all these people. Especially the ones of the female persuasion right now, Bob. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Joseph. Joseph, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Cleveland. Cleveland, up, up by the lake. Down by the river, up by the lake. Are you good at geography? No. <laughs> Here's an easy Ohio question. How many counties are in Ohio? This is um, 88. 88. That's right. 88. How about this? How many keys are on the piano? <laughs> They're all on it. 88. 88. 88. How old is this lady sitting next to you? Don't, <laughs> don't say 88. That'll get you in trouble right there. Hi, what's your name? Nicole. Hi, Nicole. She's like, no, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming tonight, though. You're good sport. What's your name? Deborah. Deborah, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Berlin. Me too! <laughs> this is awesome. Who are you here with? My grandson, Camden. I met Camden. He helped me out. Give me the rock. That's it right there. That's awesome. That's awesome, Camden. All right. What's that? It's about the sixth time he's seen you. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for coming. Love it when people come back to our shows. You got to come see the new shows this summer. Hi, what's your name? Diane. Hi, Diane. Come up here with me real quick. Di this is Diane, everybody. Give Diane a big round of applause. You're a good sport, Diane. <laughs> listen, listen. No, come here. Come here. Yeah, I got that magic trick of the month club. First, let's do this. Yeah, well, first we want to do this. I'm going to fix this just right so we can all hear you sing. <laughs> Diane, is that okay? I guess. Oh, really? Where are you from? Big Prairie. Big Prairie, all right. <laughs> yeah, you with her? No, no but okay, <laughs> whatever. Diane, what are you going to sing for us tonight? Um, happy birthday. You're going to sing happy birthday? Okay. No. no, okay. Diane. You know what I just, you know what I just realized? That I didn't give you a proper introduction, Diane, from Big Prairie. Okay. So let's just do it right, okay? And we'll all feel better. Turn around. Okay. Come right back here. Oh, you want me to come out? Yeah, I want you to come out. Okay. Just stand right there. No, right there, right there. Okay. Okay. See ya. Right there. All right. Thank goodness Diane was getting on my nerves. <laughs> What were we doing? <laughs> Is she with you? She's with you? How do you know her? 
That's your best friend? I'm so sorry. I'm, no, not that she's your friend, that what I just did. That's, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling bad. I want to make it up to her. Okay, here's an idea. Will y'all help me make it up to her? If I, if I, I'll give her like a big stage introduction. And if y'all can go crazy, that would be great. Like a standing ovation would be awesome. Clap and shout, throw clothing at her. We, that's always good. Money, that works. So will you help me out, everybody, balcony? Okay, let's get her out here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, making her theatrical debut all the way from beautiful Big Prairie, the one and only Diane! Come on. Yeah. That's awesome. Now you got to say. No, I'm kidding. I want to I want to do cuz cuz I've learned all those other magic tricks from Magic Trick of the Month Club. So I want to show you some real quick. We'll just do some quick ones to get warmed up. You sir, do you have a hanky? You don't have a hanky. Could you borrow one from him cuz you got something hanging right there. You <laughs> did it. Bob, yes. All right. Um, I got it. You'll love this one real quick. Um, this one's great. Uh, I need a random, something random from the audience. Let's do like, like a pack of gum. Just, you got gum over here? Awesome. Just, just. That's all right. That's, oh, there's plenty of gum in there. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. What's your name? Nina. All right, thank you, Nina. Okay, she gave me her peppermint five. Okay, this is awesome. Everybody, watch carefully. Can y'all see it? We didn't plan this, right? You didn't know I was going to ask for gum. You didn't. None of this is like I want everybody to know that this is. Yeah, I mean we've never met before, right? Then how do you know it's me? Okay, everybody, watch carefully. Can y'all see it? I'll keep it high in the air. Okay. It's almost full now. <laughs> it's my favorite trick. <laughs> oh, there is a mint. Somebody threw a mint. That's awesome. Okay. Now, step up to the microphone. I got, I got one more, the magic trick. This is, this is my favorite. Okay. Um, I'm going to read your mind in front of everybody tonight, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if this is going to work right, the first thing I need you to do is to clear your mind. Wow, that was fast. Okay. I didn't take long. All right, Diane. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to picture yourself at your favorite supermarket. Okay. Okay, and I want you in your mind's eye to start going up and down the aisles of your favorite supermarket. Mm -hmm. I want you to stop in any aisle, okay? Any mm -hmm. aisle. I want you to turn and look at the shelves in your mind's eye. Mm -hmm. And I want you to focus in on one product on the mm -hmm. shelf. Got it. Something, make it something that would be hard for me. Like, I'm not just going to guess it. Don't say like bananas or milk. Make it a name brand product. Okay. Like okay. specific, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So everybody knows this is, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking of one? Got it. Okay, I need you to concentrate hard. Don't say it, just think on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm getting something. All right, Diane. Are you kidding? Well, right here in my pocket, I have a piece of paper. And Diane, would you be amazed if on this piece of paper I've already predicted the product that you're thinking of? Be You'd be amazed? Yes, would. I'm going to hold this right here so everybody can see it. No monkey business. Mm -hmm. I want you nice and loud to say into the microphone the product that you were thinking of. Then we'll see what's on my piece of paper. Lay's potato chips in the yellow bag. That's very specific. <laughs> now, if I had Lay's potato chips in a green bag, you would not be yeah. as impressed, huh? Lay's potato chips, of all the things. Yellow bag. <laughs> okay. Diane, you're not going to believe this. Sure. Right here on this piece of paper, I just happened to have the UPC code <laughs> for Lay's potato chips in the yellow bag. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Listen, you've been a good sport, and I would feel bad if I didn't give you some kind of a, a prize for helping me out. So I want to give you something. 
I want you to have this gum and enjoy it, all right? Thank you. Big hand for Diane, everybody. You can head on back. My name's Leonard. You guys are a lot of fun. Keep it going for her. Keep it going for Leonard. Yes. Woo! Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. This guy here I would like to bring out real quick. He was here a few years ago, and he is from the great state of Louisiana. And he's here tonight to have a little bit of fun with us. And come here. Come here. Come here. I'll drop you out. There you go. Just like that. Now, hang on. Hang on. We got you. We got you. Don't, don't be nervous. I'll tell you right now. Woo, doggy. Yeah. What they all laughing at up in here? This is Lance. That's right. That's not that. That's not that. Lance. Uh -huh. What are they staring at? <laughs> I stare right at that. <laughs> I don't blink. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I tell you what, I don't know her on that. He sticks me in that bag. He rolls me around and, ah, and ooh, <clears throat> here I am. <laughs> oh, you're in Berlin, Ohio. Berlin, Ohio. Yeah. Well, hot dog, yeah. I did some, I did some Shadane, Louisiana, yeah. Down there on Highway 211 and 61, right there in the middle of the old Ohio, uh-huh. They're looking at me like I'm talking French. <laughs> I don't know a lot of that, boy. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Ken, Ken here, Ken down there in Louisiana, yeah. We fed him crocodile or alligator, and we fed him big snake and, and all that good stuff. That fool will eat anything you put in front of him. <laughs> We laugh and laugh and laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, buddy. Woo! So I, this is the Amish, that um, Amish, Amish thing. Yeah, Amish Country Theater. Yeah. I was up in here a couple of years ago. Yeah. And then they, they had that buggy ride over there by that, um, that restaurant there in that um, um, Walnut Creek. Yeah, that Walnut Creek. They're, 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 they're Dutchmen. That's right. Why don't you just talk on the phone there? <laughs> I kind of am. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're Dutchmen. They have the, the buggy ride. Yeah, the buggy ride right there. The, they're Dutchmen. Yeah, I went on that buggy ride. Scared that old boy to death. <laughs> I crawled up in that buggy. He crawled out the other side. He said, oh, that the devil right there. <laughs> I looking at the devil, boy. I scared that old boy. <laughs> oh, and I told him, it's okay, it's okay. And I got him back up in that buggy and then on that buggy ride there. Yeah. yeah, he kept staring at me. He kept staring at me. He's staring at me, boy. He said, what's all that up in your face right there? You got all that shiny stuff up in your face. I said, that's my hardware. That's what we call it, hardware, yeah. You got my piercings and all that hardware. He said, we got us a hardware right up in here in Walnut Creek, but I never thought of sticking it on my face. <laughs> And then, then he asked me if I had me a bunch of little kids running around the house. He said, you got you a bunch of little ones running around the house, man? And I said, well, well, why you say that? He says, because it looked like they got you down and took a sharpie marker and drew all over you. <laughs> I said, those are my tats. I got my tats, man. Them tats tell a story. He said, yeah, you've had some rough nights, obviously. <laughs> yeah, oh, you did not know what to think of me. <laughs> oh, but we got along good. We got along good. He kept wanting to touch my hair to see if it was real. I kept pulling his beard to see if it was real. <laughs> oh, my. Did they ever get what I was talking about when I was here the last time? Y'all up in here in Berlin, y'all need something up in here. You ain't got it. Did you get it? No. Oh, yeah. You need it up in here. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. 
I'll give you some hints and you tell me what I'm trying to, to, to describe up in here. Yeah. You're going to give us hints. Yeah. And we're supposed to tell you what it is. Yeah. Down south, we got one of these at every exit. Every exit has one. What is it? Oh, I heard it back there. I heard it back there. Every one of these, when they, the sign up on the roof, the sign on the roof is, one of the letters is out. Yeah, it'll say awful house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you go in there, you order eggs and bacon, you get it on 16 plates. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Oh, my, and never ask for warm syrup. That's a bad thing to do. Ask for warm syrup, yeah, to put on your waffle, you know. Never ask for warm syrup, because she'll take that bottle and stick it under her arm and walk around for a little bit. <laughs> and she'll hand it to you. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen, but I tell you right now. <laughs> and that, every one of them, every waffle house I've ever been in, oh my goodness, they got a cast of characters. Yeah, they got that one. They got that rough and tumble character in there. Oh, she rough and tumble. She's missing her left front tooth. Yeah, Alan Jackson did a song about her. <laughs> really? Yeah, she's a rough and tumble one. You come to the Waffle House at 3 o'clock in the morning, you get a dinner and a fight. Oh, yeah, she'll be right there in the middle of it, whooping up on people, didn't tip her, she'll hurt you. <laughs> and then there's the other one, she's the scary one. The scary one? Yeah, the scary waitress at the, at the Waffle House. She got more metal in her face than it took to make your car. Yeah. Oh, you got to be careful of her. She'll cut you. Yeah. And then, and then we got the gung-ho in there. She all gung-ho Waffle House. She's so gung-ho, she's got the menu tattooed up on her forearm right there. Yeah. That's a big menu. That's a big forearm. <laughs> Woo! No, girl, I tell you right now, it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah, you go to the Waffle House, you, you're going to have a fine dining experience. I'll tell you right. Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah. How do you know? I used to be a cook. You, what? I was the cook at the Waffle House, boy. I, tell, I was a good cook. And how do you get to be a cook at the Waffle House? A felony. <laughs> oh yeah, that helps. Yes, sir, boy. It's a waffle. House. And I'm telling you right now, y'all thinking about it right now. Where are you gonna go after the show? You wish there was one here now, don't you, big boy? Huh? Oh yeah, we need to get us a waffle house up in here. That's what we need to get. I can't stick around. I gotta go get me go get me some land around here and get me a waffle house started up in here. You know they got their own jukebox. Yeah. They got their own jukebox at the waffle house. Plays their own songs, yeah. Plays their Yeah, they got they wrote their own songs. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Our floors are always sticky. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, ain't no sunshine without waffles. They got all kind of great songs. I feel like I should go play need a play need a jukebox at a waffle house. Give me, whoo! I got to be going up in here. Now my name is Lance, and it was good to talk to all y'all. I got to go get me some waffles now, son. Come on, we're gonna go get. Hey, y'all have a great time. It's good waffle house. That's we're gonna get the waffle. Yeah. There it is. There, I, I got to do this. Somebody gave me this note. This is worth mentioning. There's a lady here tonight celebrating her 95th birthday. How about that? Her name is Hazel. I'm not sure where. I'll just, I'll, I'll just read the note. It says, uh, Dear Hazel, congratulations on turning 95. We're so proud of you. Love, Mom and Dad. 
I want to meet mom and dad. <laughs> um, speaking of that kind of thing, my mom is here tonight, for real. She's in the back of the room. There she is, waving. She's all the way in the back. Hi, Mom. Y'all can't see her up there, sorry. My mom recently turned 80. Happy birthday to my mom. We started this tradition when she, when she would have those significant milestone birthdays where I let her pick the restaurant and I pay for everything, of course. And so it started when she was 50 or so. I'm like, happy birthday. I want to take you wherever you want. You pick the place. It's on me. Where would you like to go? Any place at all. She thought about it. She said, you know what, Leonard? I've heard good things about that new restaurant called the Sunset Grill. I think I'd like to try it. So I took her to the Sunset Grill. She turned 60. I did it again because it's now a tradition, right? I said, congratulations on your 60th birthday. You get to pick the restaurant. It's my treat. Anywhere you want to go at all, Mom. You remember this, and you know? Okay, so she's like... Um, she thought about it. She's like, anywhere? I'm like, anywhere at all. She said, well, I heard they got good senior specials at the Sunset Grill. <laughs> so I, I took her to the Sunset Grill. <laughs> she turned 70. You know what's happening by now, right? Mom, it's your birthday. Congratulations. I want to take you wherever you want. You pick the place. It's on me. She thought about it. She said, well, I heard they got good handicap accessibility at the Sunset Grill. I think I'd like to go to the Sunset Grill. So guess where we ate? <laughs> and then recently she turned 80 and I did it again. I said, I said, Mom, it's your 80th and I want to treat you. And it's wherever you want to go. It's my treat. Where would you like to go? She thought about it and she said, you know what, Leonard? I think I'd like to go to the Sunset Grill. I've never been there before. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but that's going to be you one of these days. Anyway, happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> She's back there. Whenever she comes to the shows, she lives in Walnut Creek. She loves coming to the shows. Ken, you know this. My mom loves coming to our shows. I saw you talking to her before the show. And, and wherever she sits and the people around her by the end of the show, they all know that she's my mom because she just like, you know, it's the star of the show. She tells, she, and, so, and so I'll be out in the lobby and I'm meeting people and taking pictures and stuff. And, and somebody always comes up to me and says, hey, we met your mom in there. And I started doing this. I started saying, I don't know who that lady is, but she is crazy. <laughs> anyway, Ken, I would love to end our show tonight with an Amish country theater tradition, okay. the incomparable people puppets. Okay, which, which mic am I supposed to have, three or four? I would say, I would say one of those, yes. Which one, Johnny? You can't see what he's doing there. He says one of them, yeah. Number three. There we go, okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, this, this is our most requested uh, classic bit here at the Amish country theater featuring our world-class ventriloquist, Ken Groves. You're going to need some help with this one, am I right? Hey, could you get me two men, two women? I'll do my best. Please, yeah. I, I please. need volunteers. Okay. Yes, two men, two women. I need two. I need two guys. I need like, I need like grown-ups, like sorry kids. I need like, <laughs> I need like a guy like that right there. Would you help me out, sir? Yes, let's clap for this guy. Give him a big hand, yes. I'll take that guy. Will you help me out? I got you two guys, Ken. Now we need two ladies. Ken? What? Go ahead. You got them, right? Oh, okay. What do you, did you get, did you say? I got two guys. You got two guys? Yeah, who are you getting? I was looking at this bling bling lady right here because I thought all I can see is sparkles. Oh, right yeah. here. She's, she's like, wonderful. she's like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I only see one guy. There we go. No, they're okay. coming. So I need two, I need two ladies, right, Ken? What, what kind that? of, what I'm kind of ladies? Yes. Come on. Yeah, right there. There's one right there. Right here. Thanks for helping out. What's your name? Joe. Joe. What's your name? <laughs> okay, good. She won't even uh, look at whoo. me. What? Ken, I got, oh. she's coming. She's coming over here. I see her. Are they fighting? Are he they just fighting? got hit. Oh, <laughs> He really did. <laughs> he really did. I need one more. Give me, give Down me. here on the end. What? What? Come on. And what, yeah, come on down. All right, come on. Come on. What? Here she comes. Where's he going? I don't know. That's Bob. He's mad he didn't get hey, picked. Hey, Bob, bring me back some popcorn, will you? <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Michaela. Michaela, come over here. 
I need you right here between these two guys. There we go. All right, we have our four friends. Give them a big hand for helping out here tonight. Yes, that's wonderful. Now, we have Teresa here on the end. Then we have Kevin. Then we have Michaela. Then we have Joe, thank you. <laughs> then we have Joe here on the end. They're going to help us out tonight. i got to talk to my four friends for just a second. Don't run away. It's real simple. This is the easiest thing you've ever done. You don't have to say a word, not a word. You don't have to dance. You don't have to juggle. You don't have to spit blood, nothing like that. No, no. The only thing you have to do when I tap you on the shoulder, move your mouth. The second I touch you, move your mouth. If I tap you fast, move it fast. If I tap you slow, move it slow. If I put my hand on your shoulder, open it and leave it open. That's all you have to do. That's it. You do this right, it is funny. You don't do this right, it just looks stupid. Yes. So remember, the second I tap you, tap you, move that mouth, and we'll have a good time. We're going to start over here with Joe. Yes, Joe, are you ready? Oh, yeah. That was good. Yes, I am. All right. Good. Are you ready, Joe? Uh-huh. Okay, good. We're glad you're here, Joe. Good to be here. All right, good. Good. Are you having fun? I was the I came up here. Okay. Now you're doing all right? Oh, yeah. All right, good, good. Thanks for coming up. This is kind of neat. What is? Standing here looking at everybody. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Well, I have a question for you. What, yeah? Hey, what is your favorite thing? Oh, I like all kind of things. I like to hunt and I like to fish. I like to drive my truck and I like to play the accordion. And I like to score it. No, no, no. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you only get one thing, favorite thing. I like them all. You don't get them all. You only get one. Who says? I do. Who are you? I'm the ventriloquist. Well, la dee da. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What's that? We're going to talk to Michaela. Can I talk to Michaela too? No, I'm going to talk. I want to talk to Michaela. No, no. I'm going to talk to Michaela. You just stand there. Okay. All right. Here we go, Michaela. Look right out there. Don't forget to move the lips. And Michaela, tell everybody, what is your favorite thing in the whole world? Shopping. Shopping? Oh, yeah. You like to go shopping. I love to go shopping. Yes, I do. Shop, 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 shop. Well, that's good to know. Love it. Okay, good. Can't wait to leave here and go shopping. Everything's closed. What? <laughs> yeah, at like 5 o'clock, it all shuts down. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> I'll shop till I drop. <laughs> Give me a coupon and I'm gone. <laughs> I'll go shopping, too. I like to go shopping. No, you can't have Michaela shopping. I like it. No, you can't. Michaela, can you have your shopping? Uh-uh. You got to pick your own thing, okay? Okay. All right. We're going to go down, and we are going to talk to Kevin. Kevin? Is it Kevin? Yeah, I was right. All right, we're going to talk to Kevin. Thank God. Okay. Michaela, keep an eye on him, will you? Yep. Okay. Down here to Kevin. Kevin, look right out there and tell everybody what is your favorite thing in the whole world. Well, senor, I tell you what. I'd like to go to the toilet, senor. Yes, I do. I'd like to go to the toilet and watch them dance around and jump around in their tight ties and their tutus. All the beautiful music and the lights and the costumes. That's good, that's good. I love the ballet. <laughs> that's that's great to know. So Kevin, so Kevin here, he he likes the ballet. Oh no 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 no! I love the ballet. Okay, I like Taco Bell. <laughs> it don't like me. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Oh, see. <laughs> and that I love the ballet so much, I even started taking classes. <laughs> you take ballet classes? Oh, see. 
Really? Oh, she. I had one today. You had a ballet class today? Oh, she. I still got my tights on. You want to see? No. No. I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. I do. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I like it. No, no. You cannot have Kevin's ballet. I like it. No, you can't have Michaela shopping. Like it too. No, you can't do that. I'm going to go down and I'm going to talk to Teresa on the end. Can I talk to Teresa? No, no, you stay here. Okay. All right. Michaela, keep an eye on him. Yep. Okay, good. Who, Kevin, we good? She. Okay. We're down here to Teresa. Teresa's been waiting patiently to get in on the fun. She can't wait. So, Teresa, look right out there and tell everybody, what is your favorite thing in the whole world? I hate this. Oh, senor. Do she have an attitude? She's an evil woman. <laughs> now, I'm sure, I'm sure she's a wonderful lady. I'm sure. And, and we just need to talk. <laughs> if looks could kill, I'd be dead. <laughs> I'm sure she's a wonderful person. We just want to talk to that sweet, wonderful person way down deep inside. I know she's there. Good luck. <laughs> So, Teresa, tell everybody, what is your favorite thing? Get out of my face. Oh, senor. You in Shandit Kaka now. She's an evil woman. She's scaring me. I'm coming back up here to Joe. I, I don't know about her. I like it. <laughs> Joe, you like everything. Yes, I do. <laughs> but you only get one thing, so tell everybody, what is your favorite thing? Oh, I like to hunt, and I like to fish, and I like to drive in that truck, and I love to go shopping, I love the ballet, I love evil women. No, no, no. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> With that, give all four of them a great big hand. Thank you. You were great. Thanks for coming up. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it going for our four friends here today. Ken, you know what the best part of that is? You guys, Kevin, the best part is knowing that's going to be on that USB for the rest of your life. Every Thanksgiving. <laughs> Turn it on. You guys have been a whole lot of fun. Thanks for coming out tonight. Ken and I just want to thank you for giving us a good time. We hope you had as much fun with us as we had with you. Don't forget, check out our new comedy shows. They start May 11, two May brand new. May 11. We got new stuff. We were working on some stuff today, weren't we? Yeah. We got fun new stuff never been performed on this stage. We'd love to have you back. God bless y'all. Stop and see us at the table out there. We'd love to take a picture, sign a book. Mr. Wilson's are Mr. out there. Mr. Wilson's are out Thanks there. Thanks for coming yep. out. God bless y'all. Good night. Thank you. Good night. See ya.